it's 10 33 right now west coast time in oregon and i want to put in as much work as i can today cooking up my whip so i could slowly develop it over time and figure out how i want everything and where i want everything to go you feel me Let me start with something simple. Thank you, Tate. Honey Chaos for the Roses. This is basically like a, a side strap for your seat. You feel me? One item down. A whole lot more to go. A phone car mount. Feel me? Shout out to everybody that, that has been ordering stuff for me off my Amazon wish list. As y'all can see in my car, I have a phone mount. I have another one near my vents. I'm gonna have this one too because I'm gonna be living out my car. So I wanna have phone mounts posted up so I could record my day-to-day -day life, my day-to-day -day journey, my day-to-day -day adventures. You feel me? I wonder if I should put it somewhere back here so I can have a phone mount facing this way. You know what? I'm going to wait. I'm going to wait on where I'm going to put this sucker because I want to make sure uh, I want to make sure wherever I put it is a good spot. And the way that it got this thing is like once you put it, it's going to be there permanently forever, right? So a part of me is kind of like thinking about putting it somewhere back here so I can have a foam mount back here as well. Because uh, I basically got the one in the front already. I'm thinking I should put one back here. But I'm going to put this away for now. Until I fully hook up my car and get a feel for where I want things. And then I'll go about hooking this phone mount up. Because once it's hooked up, like I said, you can't undo it. You feel me? So I want to make sure that I don't I don't put it somewhere that I end up regretting. I got this power inverter that I can hook up to my car's cigarette plug. But I don't want to solely depend on my car's battery because if I do that, I'll freak around and drain all of my battery out. You feel me? But this is this just in case of an emergency type thing. Really, I want to get a generator. But it's pretty simple. Just gotta hook it up to the cigarette lighter and it's good to go. Okay. Here goes a car ceiling cargo net. The reason why I need this is to more storage because I'm going to be living out my car, right? So, let's see how this sucker works. Hopefully, we can hook it up. Okay. So, I got it up. Um, if any of y'all ever get one of these things, when you hook it up, I recommend that you leave all four corners loose when you hook it up. And then after you hook it up, you can just basically pull the Pull these things and even it all out. That way you ain't gotta go around, around, around circles like I just did. You feel me? All that damn freaking noise, bro. Okay. This, this is a, uh, a sun blocker. I never opened it up in my car before, but I wanna see how, how it works. Again, thank you to everybody that got me all these things off my Amazon wish list. I really appreciate y'all. So, it, it blocks out the sun for the most part. The bottom gap, it doesn't, but I think that's because I got my phone uh, holder in the way. So these, these are little hooks that you hang basically back here. Is that right? Or is it this way? There you go. So you can hang stuff right there. You feel me? There's four of them for both sides of your driver and passenger seat, right? Uh, oh, it comes in a little cool ass little case. You feel me? And basically y'all can see everything that's in the first aid kit. But since it's not very super duper, like something I'm going to be using all the time, I'll put this in the cut underneath my car. Ah. So this is a lighter 
it's a freaking uh, uh um it's like an electric lighter right so you don't need you ain't gotta worry about the rain or the wind stuff like that the reason why i want to get one of these is because again if i go camping and stuff like that and i need to make a fire i want to have a lighter that it's gonna light some fire up you feel me and i still have to charge it and everything and i really don't have time right now to go over everything but uh i'm gonna charge these suckers and put them in my car somewhere this is a, a basically like a survival kit that somebody got me it got a flashlight a knife uh a flint a flint stick uh this thing has like the knife has like all kind of little gadgets and gadgets on it rope cutter window puncher uh light uh another fire stick all kind of crazy stuff you feel me this is a smart dash camera you feel me and again something to hook up in my car to record all my travels uh, I haven't messed with this yet. I don't fully know how it works. Uh, it looks pretty simple, but it looks can be deceiving. Technology be scaring me, y'all. Okie dokie. Okay. We got it up in the middle. So one day when I'm traveling, I could record the road. And if someone tried to crash into me, I had their ass on camera. You feel me? So this is a multi-tool. It's a it's an axe. All of that in one. This right here is a fire starter. So this right here is universal dusting gel for your car. It's basically like silly putty, and you just and you just basically touch it. Anywhere and everywhere that has dust, you feel me? Somebody got me a survival watch. You feel me? When I be out camping in wilderness, it got it got um a compass, it got light, it got all kind of crazy stuff. It's water resistant. You feel me? This is a marine knife. This mini fridge right here. This sucker is super dope. I already, I have two of them. This is my second one. Y'all hook me up. Y'all got me two. And the reason why I got two is because this mini fridge right here, you can have it on cold or you can have it on hot. You feel me? So basically, this mini fridge, you can not only not only could it keep your food cold, but it can also keep your food hot. So I have two of them. One is in my room right now, keeping my food cold. But when I hit the road. I have two of them to keep my food hot and my food cold. Believe these are window covers. Five piece car window cover. It's basically this roof rack cargo thing, right? That goes on top of my car. So I basically, I basically got to put these hooks on each of the windows. And then when the car, car cargo thing is on top of the roof, you hook it to these hooks so it don't fly off, right? So let me try to hook these up real quick. Stick this underneath here and put the rubber back. Simple as that, Jax. Feel me? And then when I put the cargo thing on top of the roof of the car, it hooks onto these so it won't fly off. Basically everything for now, y'all. I've been on this live for a while now. Um, I don't really like my lives going for too long because when I uh, download them and try to upload them, to YouTube or whatever, if they're too long, they uh, they they're kind of difficult at times to upload or download. So I'm gonna end this live, clean up, to go eat some, maybe go live again and hang out with y'all some more. Just depends on what's going on and how I feel. But thank y'all for hanging out with me today. I appreciate all the love. I appreciate all the gifts. I appreciate all the likes. I appreciate all the support. Y'all have a blessed day today. Yeah.